friends, welcome back. Today we have another spoiler-free three-minute thriller review, and today we're gonna to be talking about The Night Swim by Megan Golden. Basically, we follow in this story a this woman named Rachel, who is a successful true crime podcast host. And for the latest season of her podcast, she is taking us to this small seaside town in North Carolina, where the town uh, superstar swimmer is accused of raping this high school student. And it's very reminiscent of like the Stanford rape case from a few years ago, if you remember that. However, when she gets to a small town, she realizes that there's more to this town than just this rape case. There's actually another case that happened several decades in the past surrounding a death of a young teenage girl. So basically the story ends up taking us through the story of what's happening with the present day rape case and also kind of Rachel's unpacking of what happened all those years ago with this other case. So this story is marketed as a thriller. To be honest, I don't really think this was a thriller. It really read more like a contemporary fiction book to me with a very heavy handed social commentary element about rape culture and all of that. I think a subplot to the book was a mystery component. And then I think even below that in terms of subplot was a thriller component that I think was stronger at the beginning of the book, but kind of fizzled out. That being said, I still really enjoyed the book for a few reasons. I think, oh, there it goes. First of all, I really connected with the writing style of this book, even though the subject matter was pretty heavy and hard to read at times. I think the writing style was really easy to get through. It was easy to read in a fast read. I also liked the pacing of the book, even though the book was not super high action, I still felt compelled to continue reading. Also, I thought the podcast element was really fun. Even though I did get this book from Book of the Month, this book is actually also available on Scribd. So I ended up listening to most of this book on audio and I'm happy I did because all of the podcast episodes episodes are kind of interwoven into the book as chapters. I thought listening to them and having them more like produced like podcast episodes was pretty cool. So I also thought the sense of like place was very well done. I think the author really established a sense of community where you felt kind of ingrained in this small town and I liked that aspect of it. Ultimately though, I think I'm gonna end up with a three and a half stars for this book for a few reasons. I think because the mystery was a little bit of a subplot rather than the core of the book, I think the author tried to throw in like some kind of like plot twists or surprises at the end. However, I, they kind of fell flat for me and just felt a little bit contrived and just too coincidental. I felt like that was kind of inevitable because because the way the story was laid out, the plot, the mystery plot was kind of secondary. So we didn't really lay out a lot of like red herrings or alternative ways the story could have gone. So it just, I don't know. It just, there wasn't enough buildup where the ending was just like, okay, that's the ending. Like it just felt a little bit contrived to me. Anyways, if you have read this book, I would love to know your thoughts on it. And if you like three-minute thriller reviews like this, check out my channel and subscribe for more because I usually post a video like this at least every week or two. So yeah, bye guys.